Hello everyone, this is the third video regarding the finite element analysis and design of the ultrasonic cleaners. In the previous video I've shown you how to make the back drive, bolt, electrodes, front drive and piezoelectric discs and we have meshed all of these items. Now I need to define some surfaces. I create a back drive surface here by geometry and by angle so this is the surface that I'm going to use because this surface is in contact with the bolt and then I go to the front drive do the same create front drive surface and this is the surface that I'm going to use for the front drive and also bolt surface manager create so I define bolt back drive which means that the surface of the bolt which is in contact with back drive uh, which is going to be this one this surface and then create bolt front drive is going to be this one. Okay. So the surfaces are defined. Now I have to go to the property file. I define the material properties. Bolt and back drive are going to be a steel, so I define the material properties. 7860 kilogram over meter cube, and the Young modulus is 200 gigapascal, poison ratio 0.3. Okay, then I copy it, call it copper okay but I edited the density is 8940 and the elasticity is 115 gigapascal 0.31 is the poison ratio again I copy it and I call it aluminium for the front mass or front drive and I edit it 2700 is the mass density and the elasticity is 70 E9 and point 33 and finally we need to create PZT okay and this PZT needs to be edited I use the density of PZT to be 7450 I assume the piezoelectric material is isotropic in, the, in terms of elastic properties which is not true it has to be orthotropic at least but it's easier for us because it's not that important for us the elastic properties change in different directions. So I assume this one to be isotropic in the elastic properties, but it's not isotropic in the piezoelectric or uh, dielectric coefficients, as you see. Uh, okay, the Young modulus is almost 46 P9, means gig gigapascal, and the Poisson ratio is 0.3, and I also need to define the electric, dielectric and piezoelectric coefficients. The piezoelectric coefficients, I use the strain coefficients, which is the D type, okay? Most of them are zero, except because I'm going to use the compressive D3 3 mode. D311 coefficient is minus 1.86 p to the minus 10. And then D322 is again minus 1.86 p to the minus 10. And then 7.2 e to the minus 10 for D333. And the others are assumed to be zero. Okay, this is the piezoelectric coefficients and also dielectric one, which is the orthotropic. E11 is minus, I mean, plus 1.505 E minus 8, and then 1.505 E minus 8, and then 1.301 E minus 8. These are the coefficients for this type of piece of electric material that I'm going to use. Okay, now I have to define these sections. I start with aluminium, solid homogeneous aluminium. Okay, the next one is steel solid homogeneum steel okay and the copper solid homogeneum homogeneous and PZT again solid homogeneous which is the PZD now I have to assign these uh, sets to the part this bolt is made of steel 
the back drive is also made of steel the electrodes are made of copper the front drive is made of aluminium and the PZD is made of PZD and what is important is that you have to define the material orientation for this one because the coefficients change based on the directions. I use the default orientation and 1, 2, 3 is the same as the axis, the default axis in here. The only thing that has to be considered is the rotation axis to be at with axis 3 and the 1, 2, 3 is correct. Click OK. So we are done in this part. In the, pre in the next video I am going to explain the uh, next part of the analysis.